Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we are building another one of the Frozen 2 sets. Still having, at this point in time, no idea of what the plot of this movie is actually, apart from, you know, like the, the basic synopses that they've released so far. But this set is called The Enchanted Tree. Ooh, we will be what do you think? We got some stickers. All right, so it's The Enchanted Tree House, which oh, from that we can assume that this is a tree house. It's enchanted. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we've got a few characters in this set. We've got Anna in her awesome new traveling gear. It's black and it's bronze and she's got on a, a little goldy or orangey colored turtleneck. She's also got a cape to keep her warm because according to all the colors in this, they're heading out in autumn. So autumn's still pretty darn cold. So she needs her cape to keep her warm. She's got her new facial expression, new face look with the turquoise eyes, which are more correct to the movie. And she's got this new hairpiece, which I love so very, very dearly. I think it's really, really cute. So Anna looks great, but she's not alone. She's got an Olaf to keep her company. And currently Olaf has no head. So let's fix that. There we go, Olaf. Now you can have your carrot nose. Yay! Except he still has no sticks on the top of his head. Obviously, Lego cannot figure out how to do that. <laughs> I would have thought that wouldn't be too hard, actually. Okay, so Olaf has finished poking people with his nose. Now, third character in this set. He's actually not in the first bag. This is Lieutenant, Lieutenant Matthias, who I know nothing about, except that he's supposed to be guarding the Enchanted Forest, where the Enchanted Treehouse is obviously part of the Enchanted Forest, and he's got lines on his face, which means that he's been there for a while, or he's just very serious, and he frowns a lot. Or he's supposed to be old. I love the fact that we've now got a new... Oh, and so does Olaf. He also loves the fact that we've now got a mini doll with an older face look for the men. It's so nice. We're getting some very nice diversity happening in the Lego mini dolls. I'm thrilled to see it. Okay. First part of the build. Got a little baby bunny. And another little baby bunny. There's two little baby bunnies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Olive is going to have some fun with these baby bunnies. Hold on. If there are baby bunnies, does that mean there's a mummy bunny? Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. So this is a little bunny den or a little bunny hangout. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. It gets some nice orange foliage to shade it. You can move that around however you would like it to be. Over here on the side, there's a mushroom. Actually, that's probably not a mushroom. That's probably a toadstool. I wouldn't go eating that. Oh, I told you Olaf would be so thrilled to see. Look, bunnies! Baby bunnies! <laughs> I think I might be slightly more excited than Olaf, which is concerning. Okay, let's concentrate on what we're doing. Got some jumper studs happening at the back here. Got a nice big tree root. So this is a tree house, right? So we're going to... I love those tree roots. Just love them. This is a tree house that's going to need a pretty substantial... Oh, I was going to say base, but this has got nothing to do with the actual tree. This is a bed. I like this printed piece here. That's very, that that's a, like a nice embroidered bedspread. So Anna's going to try out the comfort of this bed. <laughs> like Goldilocks. Is this one too hard? Is this one too soft? This one's just right. And there's a little lantern there to keep her lit up in what I think is going to be a kind of a little alcove. Kind of. What was, that wasn't even a word. An alcove <laughs> nestled into the trunk of the tree. So this is cool. Uh, the, the sticker with the like psychedelic -y bits on it is like an autumn leaf flurry. And on this side, we've got a little lizard or a salamander. I think this little guy is actually part of the cast. I'm not sure. I think I remember reading that somewhere. But once again, could be making that up. So not really sure. <laughs> uh, all right. So more tree roots goes... Not there. It goes one more over. There we go. I love these big tree trunk pieces. These pre-prepared. I cannot speak tonight. Pre-prepared pieces. Probably because there were too many peas. <laughs> Alliteration can be very tricky. Including this is also tricky. We've got that nice piece of pink foliage attached there nicely now. Got a ladder to get up to that first level on the treehouse. And Olive is trying it out for structural integrity and it looks like it's doing quite well. We've got some arches at the back and this tree is taking some very, I was going to say, it's taking very good root. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's building up nicely. Ooh, they're, they're sort of things that we normally use as signs. So that's cool. I don't know what's going on in the back there. Well, we'll find out as we go along. Okay, all right. We've got this rounded lavendery bit, which is going to extend out from our base plate that we've already put on. And this here is... Oh, it's a campfire! Oh! So this is sitting over here off to the side, a little campsite area. And this is... Oh, this is a 
place for... Oh, I think it might be... This might be for... Seeing as how it's pink, I think this might actually be Anna's bed. I think the other bed might be uh, Lieutenant Matthias's, so she might want to get out of there. So this can be moved or away from the fire if you want to move it away from the fire or snug up close to the fire, but it's not a permanent fixture there which is really cool. So she's camping next to the fire underneath the enchanted treehouse and roasting a bright orange fish. <laughs> I don't know who should eat bright orange fish, but it is Lego, so we'll be okay. Okay, we're up to bag number two, which is the bag that Lieutenant Matthias actually comes in. I pinched him out of it earlier. He gets a sword. So that's his accessory. And he obviously feels a lot safer with a sword, so we'll make him stand here with it and look very... <clears throat> uh, commanding and we will put some branches on up here and some arches to hold them in and the treehouse is just going so nicely it's coming together very well another big piece of tree trunk here and some more autumnal leaf swirls well that's a fancy way of saying there's stickers of leaves on the tree trunk <laughs> but they are and they're shiny the wind through going through them is shiny <laughs> all right so tree trunk is looking really nice on our tree house now a little upright green rod there means we're going to be putting another piece of foliage on there soon which is good and we've got some we've got a nice platform taking place up here speaking of foliage we've got some orange and some pink which we're interlacing like this which is very this is i would never have thought to put Put these leaves together like that. Isn't that pretty? And some gems hanging from it. There must be gems because it's enchanted. Or maybe it's gems simply because it's a Disney princess set. However, there is a lot about this set that reminds me of the Lego Elves sets. So it might be the colours and the, the tree, kind of the nature kind of theme. But it's really lovely. It's really, really lovely. It's lots of fun to build too. All right, so concentrating again, making sure I'm putting all these little slope pieces in the right direction and making sure I'm putting the gems in the right place in the foliage. Not that I think it really matters, but I do like to follow the instructions. So looks like we've got a little balcony here and some things to put on the balcony. Got a clip there and a little forward facing stud. So we'll see what's going to be hanging off the front of the balcony soon. But before we do that, we need to fill in these gaps with some more fencing so people don't just accidentally wander off the edge and fall down and break a leg because that would be incredibly sad and not so safe. So now we've got a lovely safe balcony up here on the first level, or would we call this a second level? Of the, of the tree house. So is the bottom part the ground level and this part would be the first level? I get so confused about levels. I really do have some difficulties. I have a lot of difficulties. Okay, looking good, looking very, very good. Now we have got this massive banner. I, once again, I don't know what this insignia is. I'm gonna kind of assume it's Lieutenant Matthias's thing. It's, it's his insignia for whatever group he's part of or what, whatever armed forces he's part of. We've got a nice big purple thing up here. Nice big purple bucket. The thing's not a very good descriptor and We've got this big wibbly wobbly thing from the beginning. Remember that it was wibbly wobbly, and now it's wibbly wobbly over here. <gasps> That's curious. Look at that. Copyright 2018, the Lego Group, but now it's 2019. Does that mean they've been preparing this for a whole year? Does that mean they've actually had plans and they've had an idea of what's going to be going on with Frozen 2 for all this time? Maybe they have. Okay, we've got a bottle now in the little sack hanging off the fencing. And this is, this is very, most definitely, where Matthias spends a lot of his time on lookout, hanging out up here on the balcony. I'm not going to call it the first level or the second level because I don't know which one it is. <laughs> and we've got his trunk here with some scissors and a gem in it. Like the gem has probably fallen off the tree. Has he co collected just one gem and he's got scissors. Right, so <laughs> this is what he's storing in his trunk. The essentials! A gem and some scissors. Got a ladder to get up to the balcony <laughs> and let's see whether he fits into his little bed area look at that it's so snug it's so snug and you can pull these all out so you can he can come camping outside too so we can pull all of his sleeping and his little lanterny things out that's awesome we're up to bag number three well, this treehouse is going really really well let's see what else it needs it looks like it needs some water which makes sense because you need to get your water from somewhere also there's that fish where did that fish come from, you may ask? Well, I think this is going to give us an answer. Uh, we've got a nice big rocky spot here with a waterfall gushing over it. So pretty. Look at that. Oh, 
So a nice big waterfall coming out of the rocks, and that's a bluefish. So we've got bluefish and orange fish. It's definitely an enchanted forest. Ah, uh, don't eat the really brightly colored fish. Uh, put this on wrong. It's okay. It's Lego. I can fix it. There we go. Now that all now that all fits in nice and snugly. <laughs> I sometimes I'm a little bit directionally challenged. And this part here has got a clip on it for I don't know what purpose yet. So let's put this sticker down the bottom here of our big waterfall flow and I'm just going to move it down a little bit more closer down towards the bottom. And add some rocks to the top and then we've got our beautiful beautiful waterfall with the, which the fish is swimming in and out of and a bucket to collect some water from the waterfall no running water here well there is running water it's a waterfall <laughs> but yeah okay so no water coming out of a tap and we've got some more foliage to put up here there's another green hook and it just gets a little single orangey autumnal foliage got a fishing line to try and catch some of these scarily colored fish brightly colored fish and this is not a fishing <gasps> this is a telescope so this goes all the way up here in the tippity top and this is a lookout so the purple bucket is a lookout for lieutenant matthias to well keep a lookout from i don't know what he's keeping a lookout for this is cool look at this tree trunk it's got stripes on it it's a birch tree it is a birch tree right make sure you tell me if i'm wrong it's a birch tree i'm pretty sure and I want heaps of these. I could make a whole forest. How cool is that? Love these new printed, <laughs> printed trunk pieces. Up here on the balcony, we get some more, a, a, a bit more of a living area. So up here we get a table. So that it looks like there's two goblets, but it looks like Matthias lives here by himself, which would be very lonely. Though he does have two different colors of grapes. So he's going to be okay on that. I'm not quite certain why I feel as though having two different colors of grapes would make your life better. But anyway, <laughs> he's on, on his, his upholstery here is the same as the doona on his bed. So, all right, so this is all mitchy matchy, which is nice. We can install these up here, and once again, they're easy to be taken out again. There's only one chair, because I'm pretty sure this is just set up, set up for, for, for one. And Anna's obviously visiting. Now this zip line here connects down to the little rabbit den. <laughs> Rabbits are currently hanging out with Olaf, of course they are. And I don't know quite what's happening with that zip line. So we've got this next part to actually build. And it's on an angle. I don't know what this is. So let's keep building and find out. <laughs> if you build it, it will come. If you build it, it'll, they will come. Hmm. Now this technique piece back here. Oh, there's a little blue crystal. It's random. It's the only crystal in this set. There's another birch tree piece here. So this is that helps tie this in because this is a separate part. This is like a separate build. And this, these are like standing stones with different like hieroglyphs or some sort of emblems on them which are obviously portentous and important to the story and I still don't know what they're about but I do suspect that Anna hasn't just stumbled over these I do suspect that she has probably come t intentionally to find these for some purpose they look like they look like a portal to somewhere or you, or you have to activate them I don't know I'm making it up I really don't know but this section in the middle that that looks like it could be a portal like you could walk through it to somewhere else oh this is exciting I can't wait to find out what the story is going to be like okay this is how apparently you get down the zip line it's not very safe <laughs> that, that, that's that's how you do it interesting all right so the enchanted tree house is just beautiful to look at no idea what's going on in the story but you know what who cares it's really really pretty and there are so many fun ways to play with it even now before we know what's going on in frozen 2 so let me know what you think of the build in the comments oh those stones they look so mythic <laughs> and or, uh, distracted and make sure you subscribe make sure you leave me a comment make sure you give the video a like and i'll be back with another video very very soon <laughs> so i'll see you then bye